community call today. Um, today is our 67th DASH meeting. And what I'm showing on the screen here are the notes from last time. And so people who attended last time in our notes for anyone new on the call. Um, and so we um, talked about the re quick recap of the P4 workshop on the Intel campus. And uh, we mentioned that the Smart Nick Summit is coming um, in June in San Jose. So I believe I'm planning to be there, Gerald. Um, I'm, I know, I think Chris or someone had planned to be there. So um, we could talk about that a little bit. And then I know um, Clark from Alibaba wanted to talk about his um, NAT PR. And we talked a little bit about changes to SI APIs and some ideas around that. And so that's what happened last week. And then for anyone new, I usually post the YouTube videos here in these links, just the community call, the high availability call, and the behavioral model call if we have those. So that's what was happening. And um, if anyone has a PR or something they want to discuss, let me know today. I did see uh, this one here coming through this week where um, we had this uh, PR350 merged and it was a protobuf description for the Dash app DB. So did anyone want to go first or something they wanted to talk about first? Um, I got follow up questions on the ACL tag. Uh, oh, more questions on ACL tag. OK, all yeah. right. Um, maybe we should start that first then. So is that that same? Um, that's that same PR from last time. Uh, I'll, I'll grab it. 336, I think it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get probably. it. Yeah, OK, yeah, I'll get it. OK, all right. What's what's up? What's going on with that one? So I've been playing with the side API there and whatnot. And um, mm -hmm. I think last week we talked about if so when you create when you create a tag, so you create an IP with a bunch of tags as attributes. So even if the create doesn't really have um, a list, um, the attribute is not a list, I suppose you can give it a bunch of tags um, and basically add that IP to all those tags. And that's fine. I was looking at the set and the get, and that's where it gets a little complicated. The set, so for our, for tag, IP prefix is the what I would call the key, and the tag is an attribute on it. The tag is a UN32 value. On the set, uh, so last week, sorry, when we talked about, let's say you add an IP to three tags, so you give it a list of three tags, and let's say you want to one, two, three, and let's say you want to remove from two, I think the idea was, well, you would give it a set of the remaining two tags that IP belongs to. I believe that's, that's what was proposed last week uh, to make this work, to make a remove work. Uh, however, the problem is the set, taking a UN32 as a tag, doesn't allow to um, give a list of attribute. The API, the dash, the SI API, you can do a set on an attribute and that's it. There's no attribute count. So how does that work? It's kind of similar to also the set on ACL rules where we cannot give um uh, a list of ports or anything like that so to me i'm not sure how we're going to do the set unless like acr rules we basically um well with acr rules we would create a new set of rules and then swap on the v uh, on the eni and then and then delete the old stuff well here it's the same ip as a key so i'm not sure how we're going to do that unless we remove the prefix from all the tags and then we add them. We add that prefix to all the exist the remaining tags. So that's my question on the set. I just don't know how that can work. I have other questions, but that's the main one. Okay. Is everyone clear on the question there on the call? Um, but uh, Vincent, did you take 
into consideration that this is a bitmap and uh, so 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 okay so nobody said it was a bitmap yes you can apply a mask to it but it's a 32 bit map we yeah. support um, way we, more we, we that, support way more than 32 tags all right yeah absolutely so i think the 32 bit map is uh, is something that the p4 is currently generating but that's not the actual sci api so the sci api will um, i'm thinking like it must be something like a bit vector so so, it, so uh, yeah uh, it can be a big vector of let's say um, based on the hardware capability right but it can be uh, say 256 or 512 or whatever the big vector that uh, that can be supported yeah. right so so that's you know um let me let me think a little bit so there is also this there's no that's not really a type for list oh, well there's one inside but it only it's a list of ids no, we, and that's so yeah for, so we have to for, create a new type new, new, this will be a new side type okay so yeah. that's all fine uh except i don't know that that's a list of things it's in the list of things to do is no, it so with, with that in mind right with with that as a bitmap, uh, it, it it will be like uh, essentially like a like a list, right? Like bitmap where uh, right. Uh, uh, I, yeah. I get it. if if it's a bitmap, okay, fine. So I'm trying to figure out. Okay, bitmap is not what we want. Obviously, the scale and all, like you say, changes need to occur. Are those changes logged anywhere? When are they going to be done? As, as a vendor in, implementing side, you know. I don't want to have to reage these things like forever, right? So, if it is a, a bit mask, let's take the say the current example that it's thirty-two bits, and uh, and that means it can support up to thirty-two tags, right? Uh, and and if there is a change, will uh, uh, the application can reprogram it with uh, 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 with a new set, like new bit bit set, right? So, I, I, I'm yeah, I'm with you there. If it's thirty-two yeah. bit, thirty-two bit bitmap, yeah, it it will work. Yeah, but okay. that's not what it's supposed to be. We know that, right? It's just yeah, it will work with the, as an experimentation for thirty-two tags, but it's just not the way this is supposed to be done. I mean, what is not supposed to be done? Are you say, talking about the scale or? Are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. About so every, that, that's about what... everything, right? No, I mean, I think we can, it, for the scale, we, uh, I already mentioned, right? It, it will be a bit mask. It, it will be a two, sorry, bit map. Uh, it will be a new data type in Sci, and we'll, uh, we'll generate the Sci headers based on that, right? It's not, it will not be the 32 bit. Larger than so, 32 bit? Right, larger it, than 32 bit. It needs yes. to be, because I think it was what, 4K? I don't remember, it was 4K no, tags. I, 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 4k tags all together but uh, I, I i think uh, uh, that scale is something i don't know if a bit map can be of that size but well but okay it's it's a significant <laughs> numbers it even 1k uh, you know whatever it is mm -hmm. i don't doesn't really matter mm -hmm. uh, so all i'm saying is okay that's fine uh, you, you will need to to be that way now my question is the timeline, and is is that gonna happen ever? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. In, so, uh, so you're asking, is this gonna happen in the Open Compute Project repo? That's where open I'm pulling my stuff, my, the code from. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right. And yeah. that, you know, has more questions. Once we complete this, we can go into it about me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay, I think sure. we'll, we can come back on the, the dates on when this uh, this headers will be available. I, I, yeah, but but it is definitely not uh, uh, not something that uh, uh, that is pushed for. Uh, uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll be trying to do that as soon as possible. Okay, do I need right. to, I mean, and, and, and soon or not, I guess it's it's fine. Do I need to file an issue for it? So at least it's on the list. Or is it understood that, well, the scale being the scale, 
it's understood that that needs to happen no matter what. Yeah, I think you can raise an GitHub issue saying that the current 32 bit is not according to what the scale numbers shown in the HLD. So maybe we can have a GitHub issue to track that. Not a problem. Okay. Okay, yeah. we'll do. All right, cool. So the answer to that. Um, a couple more questions. The as far as, for instance, as as far as ACR rules and whatnot, I believe the 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 algorithm is basically as soon as an ACL, uh, as soon as a group is assigned to uh, is applied to any NI, there can be any modification of ACR rules. Um, if there are any, a new group will be created, and then the new group will basically be set on the ENI. Does that apply to tag as well? I'd like to think so. Um, meaning that as long as a group is not applied to any ENI, if a rule references um, uh, a set of tags, I suppose, because it's a mask, then um, so as long as the group is not applied to the ENI, we can add prefixes to tag list. We can expand the tag prefix list. I think that's fair. But as soon as it's apply, the group is active, if you will. We cannot do that anymore. Is that fair? Mm, no, the tag can be modified at any point of time. Right? Tag is not uh, tied to a group or. Uh, it's active or within a rule, right? The That's rule it. has a tag bit. Uh, that also is a bit ma uh, bit map, right? So in in the rule, if you set a uh, tag map, right, that that won't change after the uh, the rule is applied. But that doesn't matter. Uh, that doesn't mean that a prefix uh, to tag map will will never change. That I don't think that assumption we can make. So what I'm saying, so a rule has a tag map, and that tag map will will stay. Um, as uh, as long as that rule is tied to a group and the group is bind to any NI. But no, I, I but, understand what you're saying. So basically, mm -hmm. even if a tag is active, quote unquote, or in use, you can basically expand its list. Um, you can expand its list of prefixes on the fly while the ACL is being used. For, for the tag and the prefix, yes. Okay, yeah. I mean, it just adds complexity, but it's, it's fine. I had to ask, obviously. Uh, that's not great, but that's just the way it is. Um, do we need to, uh, and the last question was, uh, let me think a bit. An ACL mm -hmm. tag can, it will be, a, so an ACL tag is part of an ACL rule. Do we need to, do we need to assume that, um, not assume, but do we need to verify the side layer that when a tag is used, on the rule, it's not empty. No, or tag can be empty. Can be empty? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tag can be empty. All right. Uh, that's all I had so far. So I'm good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So so just yeah. to complete that uh, conversation, a tag can be empty. Uh, also, a group can be empty. A group with empty roots, right? That can be bind to an ENI as well. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, if that's not. Uh, Clear. Then uh, I will. I will update the HLD with all these notes. Yeah. I think uh, the HLD definitely needs to be updated with the uh, the fact that a tag, while being in the program in the rule that is active, you know, the group is applied to an ENI, that tag can be expanded on the fly. I think that's an important factor because that that changes from the whole ACL not being modified while in use um, algorithm, right? So. Okay. Thanks. Hey, I had a couple of uh, questions on actual tags too. This is Mukesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the first one, just to make sure that everybody is on the same page, uh, because it's a bitmap. Uh, is the understanding that uh, the rule is a match if any one tag. Uh, in the rule matches any one tag in the prefix uh, from, from uh, derived from the prefix. Yes, yes. That, that yes, that's right. This I will definitely update in the document as well. I think that I have. Okay. Uh, I think Mukesh, based on our offline discussion, also that's not clear from the HLD. So 
i'll uh, i'll do that uh, um started on modifying the document i'll try to raise a pr by in, in next couple of days but yes to answer any one okay. that matches okay. a match because the yeah. confusion can happen because it's a bitmap uh, expectation yeah, yeah. might be that there has to be an all match uh, and the second so, question i had is sorry yeah go ahead. No, related to that, so that that means that the tag, the tag program in the NCR rule, currently being a thirty-two bit, so it's the same as. No, no, let's not stick to thirty-two bit. Uh, no, 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 no. Stick, but yeah. but I'm trying to understand what's now. It's thirty-two bit okay. prefix to tag bitmap up to thirty-two tags. It is mm -hmm. the same thirty-two bitmap program in the NCR rule. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so yes. basically, when we go to a higher scale than 32, both of those, not only the tag programming on the prefix and the ACR rule, we have to change. Is that Absolutely. correct? Absolutely, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's right. okay. Because yeah. uh, for the ACR rule, the tag va value, I thought it was just um, like, it was a tag value that you could max to have multiples, but the algorithm is different here. It's a bitmap of tags. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, thanks for interrupting. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, yeah, so the next question I had was about the uh, prefix lookup itself. Uh, there was one comment on the PR. You can, uh, Christian, if you can go to that uh, PR Which one? Six, the, the Apple tax PR. Yeah, uh, yeah. So there was a comment <laughs> from somebody from Intel uh, about the, uh, there was a couple of lookups. 10.1 and 10.1 uh, slash 8, 10.1 slash 16. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my machine to work here. Hang on. Uh, Shitanshu may have added that comment. Shitanshu, yeah. Yeah, I did. I, I'm just curious what is what is the question? Yeah, I guess the answer at that time was that it should. Uh, I mean, so the, there were there were two different tags coming from one from ten one slash eight and one from ten one slash sixteen. Yeah. So the packet has a packet can match both, and it, could, it should get both tags or something was the response, I believe. But uh, I, I uh, my understanding was that it should be an LPM based lookup, which means it should only match one of those uh, prefixes, right? So yeah, so the, that, yeah. If I'm, you know, that was the really the question uh, <clears throat> that the reference BMV2 model actually is working with only one tag, right? Um, at that point of time, and the the question was that how do we expect if you know <clears throat> uh, the those two prefixes you mentioned, you know, if there is a match to multiple prefixes, and if you can resolve to multiple tags. And I think the response was that, OK, that that's all control plane work. But the expectation is that, yeah, if you are matching multiple prefixes, uh, both the tags are really matching to that packet. Correct, correct. But, but in this case, uh, I would assume only one uh, one tag will uh, we'll only derive one tag, right? Because it no, will right? match the 10, 1, slash 16. But if it's an LPM no, no, lookup, no. It no, depends that, on that part I don't know how yeah how you implement, but we yeah. we expect it to derive both tags from that uh, from that packet. No, so the way I understood it was if you had the same prefix ten one slash sixteen with multiple tags, then it will derive multiple. No, tags, no, right? that will not have multiple tags, right? Uh, sorry, I I I didn't get that. Uh, Mukesh, what? So ten one zero slash sixteen can be. LPM, uh -huh. If it's an LPM based match, right? LPM lookup, it'll only hit 10 1 slash 16, right? It won't hit 10 1 slash 8. Because it's the so it depends on match. the implementation, right? Yeah. That how you want to really assign tags in your LPM table. So, so yeah, okay, so think, you're saying I the SI API would only would provide it with two different uh, prefixes and uh, the implementation has to combine and put them in. Uh, so every other overlapping prefix has, we have to uh, aggregate the tags. So yeah, okay, this, manage, it's, it's a bit confusing here. The overlapping prefixes will need to be managed in some way or another within vendor implementation. Correct, that's the expectation, Magesh. yeah. 
I mm. don't think an LPM match can because here the ACL rule may be with tag one or tag two, right? Uh, from this example on uh, on Shitanshu's right uh, comment, but uh, mm -hmm. so if you only derive tag two, the rule may be only having tag one, but it still is a match for that okay. packet. Yeah. So if you don't derive tag one and two from so it, then, then we need to clarify. It looks like print, so it's uh, not an LPM. Could always... Yeah. Does that mean? Yeah. No. I was just asking. So does that mean from the implementation, right? We can always roll it back up to the topmost. We don't really need to care about any of the. If there is a superfix for, I mean, there is a supernet tag anywhere. We can no, just ignore no. all the lower ones. No, that that's also not uh, going to work, right? Because the ACL rule may be matching on either of the tags, right? So we need even to... in the ACL rule, yeah, even in the ACL rule, we could kind of roll it up in the sense that if there is a, there is a dot slash sixteen anywhere, uh, then any of the lower tags are useless. We can always put it to the slash sixteen, right? Whatever is the highest uh, tag. No, my point is there will be a rule one with let's say tag two match and uh, some action. Rule mm -hmm. two with uh, let's mm -hmm. say tag one match and some action. But your packet when it comes, I think, I mean, if uh, I, I I'm just uh, thinking for a, a hypothetical scenario. But the point is the the packet coming and uh, and and all the tags associated must be derived for any rule to to match. Because if you only rely on one super uh, super tag, I don't know how the rules can can be made to match there. I see. Let me think through. I think even in yeah. the rules, we could replace with that super tag. I think. But let me let me. No, think no, no. I, I that's think what. So then it will be a complex logic, right? Like uh, that. So so the other problem is like we don't want to modify the rule at any point of time, right? If the prefix to tag match mapping and all changes, then we need to go and. Uh, uh, replace the the rule, right? So, mm -hmm. so the super so rule will your, match uh, will carry question? both the. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask, like the super net rule in that case will carry both tag one and tag two when it matches. Yeah, that, that was what I was the, trying to ask. Yeah, so because I think then we are relying that. On, uh, in this case, 10 1 slash 16 should have both tags. Is that what you're asking, Sanjay? Yeah, I mean, it becomes equivalent to that, is what I was trying to. Yeah. We could, okay. in sense, yeah, could simplify it to that tag? one tag. Yeah, you could only mm -hmm. simplify it to that uh, prefix, but it, because irrespective of any of the subnets, you'll always derive the. Mm, I see. I think there should be a configuration example that makes this very, very absurdly clear in a case that yeah. that and, and, and this should be a pseudocode description, not a data plane implementation requirement. This is a behavioral requirement of how matching works. It's not how you have to implement it, right? If a data plane wants to do a single longest previous match lookup and get 17 tags for the single packet and look up all 17 tags in some ternary lookup, that's up to it, but probably most won't do that. But that's effectively how you're describing what the control plane wants to happen logically, right? Behaviorally. It should be as if you did that. Yeah, so the control plane or even the data plane, if we implement it there, right? So essentially, we have to actually match every single prefix. Not just the longest prefix. There are many, and many ways to implement this in the data plane the that packet. all give the same answer. There are many ways to do this in the data plane that all give the same answer. I don't think the dash is going to require a data plane to implement it one particular way as long as it does a correct way. But they need to clearly define what they, the correct answer is for matching. Correct, yeah. Right. Yeah, plus it introduces some complexity because you now uh, a supernet can contain like 20 subnets and let's say two of those get deleted, then suddenly the tag list looks different. And I, I, uh, we, yeah, are... I understand that this is not simple to implement a high performance in a data plane. I don't think Microsoft cares. 
I mean, at the end of the day, the tag, is, the tag is a shortcut. It is an alias to a list of prefixes. List of prefixes that originally could actually be programmed against the ACR mm -hmm. rule directly. That's that's about it. The underlying implementation, the LPM, others, whatever, it's it's not defined here. It shouldn't be defined here. So you guys still feel an example would be beneficial? Yes, there's so definitely an example, yes. an, ex an example with overlapping prefixes, each assigning different tags and rules matching on you know different ones of those tags and showing subtle cases that these kind of would answer these kind of questions would be ideal. I don't I don't know if anybody feels comfortable creating such an example. It's but it probably that was going to be, be my next dozen. question. It probably, be, it'd, it'd probably need to be at least a 20 line example. I don't think you can do it in less than 20 lines of configuration. Right, right. right. And um, that was going to be my next question is <clears throat> who's passionate enough about this to maybe give it a swing for us to look at. I'll throw that out there. I'll put it in my notes. Yeah. Uh, I have one last question uh, for the Apple tags again. So mm -hmm. the tag, uh, so the stack table is like a global table, right? Uh, so it's not prefixed by like a VNet or anything like that. So the IPs are kind of global, the prefixes. I, I One more time. Are, 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 aren't tags qualified by ENI or VNI? One of those two? VNet. Uh, it's not inside, right? It isn't. Okay, no, so tags, no, it, tag it, yeah, global. It, it, it's global. It's global. Yeah, it's not a, uh, global is a global source or global destination because the side cannot differentiate those. So, yeah, but in the northbound we don't differentiate yeah. between source or uh, destination. But it's a tag to prefix match prefix map. Sorry, right here. So you could then we could uh, most probably expect uh, Prince that. Uh, the tags will either be on the source side of the ACL or the test side of the ACL because with the dash, not both. one side is always uh, tenant side traffic, right? Is, is that uh -huh. a good? So it would probably be mostly for shared services kind of a thing <laughs> where uh, um, either the tag exists in the ACL rule, either on the source side or the destination side. Both sides don't make sense if that it is global. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. As far as the configuration example, I could guess what I think you want, mm -hmm. but but the people that know what you really want are the people that are going to be calling this northbound API and configuring it and expecting a certain matching behavior. Okay. Those are the people who actually know what they want and expect. I can only guess. OK. So any other conversation around ACL tags for the fifth for the fifth week? Not until next time. Not until this is that's great conversation. Thanks for bringing it up, Vincent. That's awesome. Um, did we uh, shifting gears a little bit? Um, I guess I'll do the seven second rule, Andy. Um, so counting it down, no, no more on 336. How about, did we need to cover prints this one here, the protopuff description? <clears throat> Not really. This is more Not for really. the northbound, right? Yeah. OK, all right. If anyone wants to take a is look, that, it's 350. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Put the, I'll put the link in the notes when I send them out. Um, or I can take a snip of the changes. Um, so I have that. And um, I think I see Vladimir on the call. And I know we talked about his, is it Vladimir's 346? Um, are you are you here, Vladimir? 
He's not here. I oh he uh, pa yes. uh, Voldemort Palomar is there. Voldemort. No, it's okay. another Voldemort. Not, not Vladimir Mitnick. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But uh, that um, breakage of the 1755 uh -huh. is being looked into to get to get it fixed so that mm -hmm. uh, yeah the the problem is that the dash related changes in the PDF went in and then this PR came in between. And the one on top is the VXLAN fix that we need for us to move to uh, the pointer to move to that uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. instance of Psi uh, as a submodule within Dash. So uh, we are unable to move to the VXLAN fix that we absolutely need for overlay without the 1755 fix. So that's being worked upon uh, right now. Mm -hmm. A yeah. different uh, group within Intel. Okay. I was curious, um, does someone like me or someone else in this group need to attend the the Psy calls, Reshma or Honey, or do you think? Mm -hmm. or so uh, I you have been attending these days. Uh, there is a little bit of conflict, so I uh, attend off and on. But uh, especially when we have Dash related PRs being discussed there, it will be good to be there. OK. Um, <clears throat> Or like if someone like Vince has a dependency on Dash that has a dependency on Psy. Um, right. You know, Prince, do you know if anyone from our end attends those? No, I I had a discussion with the Rita on this, but uh, um, what, what she agreed was if, uh, if our community here agrees and the changes are not... Uh, you know, majorly impacting the rest of the site, <clears throat> then uh, <throat> then we can make the call to merge. Mm -hmm. But uh, but if uh, if it requires uh, um, the site community to take a look and review, then we'll need to present it there. Mm -hmm. But uh, but for a specific dash, because our headers and those things are part of a uh, a different uh, section of the site headers, right? Like the experimental part. So if, if it doesn't mm -hmm. impact the rest of site, then then we can make the call here in this community and uh, and mm -hmm. yeah. I was just wondering if I should start attending their calls. Um, no, that the, call is for a general general side, right? Uh, uh -huh. For other switch related uh, features okay. and those things. So yeah, whenever dash PR or something, if there is anything, we get uh, you know uh, uh, we can attend, yeah. but otherwise not really needed. Uh, from the Dash uh, test framework standpoint, we actually merge into OCP Psi um, main repo, not in experimental. Okay. Yeah. And wondering when Dash will actually move away from experimental, friends. Do we need to keep uh, the Dash portion mm -hmm. in experimental? Yeah, I think it will probably stay like that. Uh because uh, now that mm -hmm. uh, yeah so it's like uh, we have started including those headers and those things right so if we move uh probably going to break the implementations so i think mm -hmm. uh these are like generated apis and and stuff like that right and uh, and like probably things will change uh, yeah. down the line on on our like for example this kind of bitmap and those uh, those exactly things, right? so like, yeah so so the bitmap implementation cannot be as elaborate as we were discussing today in the BMB2, then the Psi API generation will be different. It will have yeah. to be hand modified. In that. And then it will be yeah. good to move uh, like a standard when we can, you know, we'll start viewing Dash as a standard when we kind of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, at some point move away from experimental um, in, in, the, in, in Psi as well. Um, and and yeah, same think, with, um, think... yeah. I mean, I think we can check with uh, uh, Gohan also on that. Yeah. To see what's the plan on moving the site headers. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm at least I, I don't have any plans yeah, or sure, sure. Not, not aware of. Yeah. Right. Sure. Um, uh, this is not urgent, but you know, you need to think about it at some time. Um, same question for uh, a similar question for metering. Metering, we don't have the Psi APIs right now. So the implementation um, cannot be completed without testing, at least in the dash test hardness. We cannot add metering part without the Psi APIs. 
Yeah, I think metering, um, maybe um, MD team can uh, chime in, but uh, metering the plan is to, uh, next, uh, the next plan is to deliver the, the behavioral model for metering, right? Uh, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, currently work in progress. So I think the before changes are done. Uh, so we're having some uh, looking at some issues with the Sci API generation, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm working on that. So it should be out soon. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. And similarly, uh, HA APIs were ready. I thought it was reviewed in the Dash community earlier. I thought that it was back to Gohan. I thought, correct me if I'm wrong. I thought it was back to Gohan for like a review. Yeah, I think Gohan has. I'm uh, uh, Gohan had asked if I can raise the PR a week or week or week and a half back. I'm working on that. Uh, mm -hmm. this oh, okay. okay. As long yeah, as I was not sure. Uh, I was not working on it before because I was not sure what the mm -hmm. status of the uh, proposal was. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I've started working on it with time. Trying to yeah. read this thing, I, I'll send it out. Soon. Let Sounds me know funny. if I can help. Yeah. Sure, thanks. Um, yeah. Um, and like it says here, if anyone has this open computer invite, if you could forward it to me just so I can throw it on my calendar, listen in, you know? Sure. I I, I'd appreciate it. it. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Shifting gears a little bit, um, Clark, did you want to try and introduce this? I'm sorry. What's that? Oh, no, sorry, you can okay. go. No, I was just asking yeah. if the GNMI container is that available for us to try out, uh, or what? What is the plan for that? If you needed to do it from end uh, to end. Um. So what I was gonna yap about was, um. Clark, I know wanted to. I I don't know if you wanted to talk about this one today, Clark, or if you wanted to just introduce it. But um, then we could then we could talk about GNMI. Um, Clark, did are you on the no, call, Clark? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, previously, I uh, I want to uh, add the code for this uh, net HLD, uh, and I did not prepare for. Uh, the okay, case. that's fine. That's fine. You let yeah. me know when, or you want to look yeah. look at next uh, week, maybe. Yeah, I, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, joined uh, uh, tomorrow's uh, BM models. Tomorrow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. We'll yeah. do that. And then GNMI, is that uh, Sanjay? Are you talking about this one here? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. No, I haven't uh, looked at this one and um, I don't know the answer to that. So add support. GNMI interface for Dash add support. So, hey, friends, what's, what's this? Guys, is this gang internally? I would, I have yeah. trouble uh, in, I have yeah, trouble uh, synchronizing the names. Yeah, let's see what he's yeah, doing. Gang. But 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 uh, hold on. So this one uh, is for uh, the new proto buff encoding, but there is already the GNMI that uh, the switch. Uh, yeah, for the switch or for the DPU, like uh, it can be used for end to end testing as well. Can you show? Okay, but, so is that in the I Sonic mean, that, repo? Yeah, it's it's in the Sonic repo. So basically, uh, <clears throat> Sanjay, was it Sanjay who was asking this? Yeah. 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 So, so Sanjay, the the Sonic GNMI container has the capability uh, to program the uh, app DBs, right? Like directly. Like it, uh, so, you can you can basically use GNMI to set or create any entries in uh, in the app DB, and and you just need to use that framework to program those uh, dash entries right so because there's no yang model validation or those things for for dash yet so it can just bypass those yeah, things okay. yeah I see. but uh, okay yeah is so just just to that? yeah right. so you uh, can point to it here is it in one of these folders or yeah i think there must be some gnmi i didn't see a or... gnmi folder but you know me, I could I could be looking in the wrong spot, but it would be like here. But anyway, it's in here somewhere. Uh, let me think. Uh, is it mm -hmm. in, uh, well, I'm in documentation. Con yeah, yeah, so. yeah, this one only. Docs and... Uh, uh, is it config updater? Maybe scroll down maybe, a bit. Maybe config reload, config yang. 
config update autogen and that's CLI. I may have to find that. Okay. Or maybe maybe it's a it's a it's a document that's outside. Like you scroll down a bit. Scroll down. Okay. I'll, I'll scroll. Okay. Sure. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Da, da, da. Yeah, I think otherwise better to search for what's it. What's the what's the what's the search function? Um, is it a control I F? I could try and find it. No, it's, the search is all the way on top. All the way on okay. top, we can search. All right. I, I can provide that. I... Yeah, so. Oh, OK, so it's our uh, Sonic Doc Management, MGMT, uh, okay. in the doc. Yeah, I think uh, it's one more layer of indirection. Doc, MGMT, yeah. got it. And, are, you, are you following us, uh, Sanjay? <laughs> Yeah, yes, Christina. Yeah. Okay. And sorry, we have I have Sonic yeah. GNMI. So there is the uh, the first first folder, right? GNMI. Oh, the GNMI. First. And uh, okay, GNMI. Yeah, got it. Yeah, and over here, yeah, that that's the document. Let's see. Sorry, everybody on the phone watching me navigate. Okay. So we look at this. Yeah. Control yeah, so here the there are examples on how to uh, write directly to AppDB, right? And then we use the uh, the schema that are defined in the Sonic HRD to write that. That that's uh, I mean we have already tried that internally and uh, and it's working as expected. So okay, okay. thanks. Man. We'll look at this. Yeah, yeah. It should be pretty straightforward, but let me know if uh, if you need help okay. on that. Since we're talking about Sonic, is there any um, anything available for um, hardware DB slash uh, SingD, SingD based uh, Sonic, the dash? I didn't get that. Uh, so for the SingD and the uh, rest of it, it is a uh, hey, there's no change. There's no uh, GNMI or. No, no, sorry, I'm not talking about GNMI. I'm talking about a Sing uh, a dash or SingD. Is that available yet or not? That's that's part of our Sonic HLD, right? Dash or uh, 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 as far as the side Redis uh, repo itself, like code, not HLD. Yeah, that's what that's there. Yeah. So I can see where this, in the Sonic can, repo or the Dash repo. Yeah, it's in the it, no, that's the code, right? That will be in the Sonic repo. That Dash repo is mainly we have all the documentations there and uh, and the the P4 models, right? But the actual code is in the Sonic repo. Okay, so three months ago so, when I tried to integrate to SyncD, that didn't exist. So I pulled SciRedis and updated enough of SyncD to basically be able to via the Sci3 server, uh, via the Sci Challenger to write the app hardware, to write the Redis database so that it can be fed into the uh, SyncD and call my Sci layer. So that worked, but yeah. I had to basically instrument the SyncD code to make it dash yeah, aware. Yeah. So what I'm asking mm -hmm. now is, is that streamlined or not? I don't think it was it, at the uh, time. Maybe things changed. Yeah, yeah. I think um, the most part uh, is there, but uh, uh, NVIDIA is also adding uh, the changes on, on, on to Sci-Ready, so it should be available sometime probably this week. Yes. Uh, so on master? Yeah, on master. Currently, there is a pull request in the draft mode the Dash API changes, and uh, I think we need a couple of more days uh, to finish all the testing, and uh, it will be ready to merge. Wow. Do you, do you have the PR here? Uh, I can provide the link. If yeah, that'll be good. Thanks. I mean, there's nothing like I don't need in a week or so. I was trying to understand if um, that was finally coming in. Which is good. Yeah, yeah, we are working on that, but uh, there are like thousands of lines of changes. So oh, I know, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, I believe you there. Cool, thanks. Okay. That's inside it is repo, Christina. Yeah. If you're looking for that. Uh, I'm poking around. Thank oh, sorry. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, cool. 
I sent the link here in the chat. Oh, thanks. That's awesome. Thank you. OK. Um, great. So let's see. It's oh, it's 948 already. OK. So anything else for today, guys? Um, I think if I had anything else. Um, again, uh, we'll be down in California for the Smart Nick Summit. So you guys reach out to me. If I, apparently I have an exhibit table. I'm looking for um, like a banner to go behind the table. It's such short notice that I'm kind of scrambling a little bit. But um, if you'd like to chat with me offline, feel free. You know, my email address and my phone number, I'll put them in the chat window. So um, does anyone have anything else? Microsoft.com and seven six. This is my cell. In case I get lost. Okay, I think that's the seven second rule, I, or seven minute rule. I can give eleven minutes back today. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Christina. Thanks. Thanks. Huh? Thanks. Thanks for the Thanks. conversation. Have a good day. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.